Pajek. I um, just took his data. I saw one mistake in there. Um, for he said it was V8 for stature. Um, that can't. That's in millimeters. V9 is in centimeters. So this column O is his height in centimeters. So what you need to do is like first take the first group, which is Agaria, put them into an Excel file, label that sheet Agaria, put in the weight and the height into the column. So I went and copied the right columns into here and you can double check that this is what I get. I'm going to save this onto into Dropbox. Then you'll go over here in the column C and put natural log. Uh, well actually first we want height in meters so we will take height and put it in meters so that'll be B2 divided by 100 so that'll give you height in meters. And here we want weight, natural log weight. Here we want natural log height and so here we want um, natural log of the weight is A2, natural log of the height in meters is uh, in C2, and then scroll all these down. So now you have natural log weight and natural log height. This is the X, this is the Y. Actually, I think I have it backwards. Um, I think this is supposed to be over on this side. I think I want the weight to be height is equal to, I think I did this for you already. Um, so height is equal to, weight is equal to height squared, um, height to the P. So this is the y, natural log y is the y value. So you want column E to be natural log W and you want column um, D to be natural log H. Then highlight both of these two columns, go to insert, scatter, and you're going to have a newer version of Word than I, um, and you'll get this graph. You don't have to make the graph look nice or anything. Just go in there and add the tread line and ask it to give you the equation and the R square both. So you have this. And you see this coefficient, the slope here. That is your p-value. That's the value that um, it thinks um, the scaling constant should be. So this is very far away from 2. But the r square is also very low. So what uh, you do next, you can put this in an Excel file if you want to. We can copy and paste out into the paper later. You will put the results for this first try. And I'm going to save this file so you can just add to it. Um, line r square and exponent. So the tribe is Agaria. We got that right. The line was y equals 1.2882x plus 3.3238. The r square value is uh, 0 0.159, and the exponent is a, this 1.2882. Okay, once you have that, um, you just go to the next tribe. Oh, you need to have that a little bit bigger. Go to the next tribe and do the same exact thing that I just did for the first tribe. And both of these are saved in the data file. So I'm going to save this as analysis. data. Put that there. And then over here I'm going to save this one and call it results. And then you just do it one by one for each one of them. That didn't take me that long. Um, so these are all his tribes. If you could do all the work for the tribes. And then he has this all India. 
to see what that one looks like. This is everybody. Oh, huge. I believe he already. Um, this is not it. He segregated them already for me. Segregated data, I think it's there. Run it for these segregated data as well. Um, uh oh, he edited this file. Um, so this is, um, these are casts. Um, so you, it'll be interesting to look at those. So if you could run it for those two, I don't think it will take you too long, but if it is taking too long, let me know. All right, so that's it.